Earlier this year, I embarked on a quest, a noble journey to bowl a perfect game. It's an accomplishment achieved by few, but chased by all. If you put every single human being on a global leaderboard, the amount of people that have bowled a perfect game is probably less than 10,000. I'm just pulling numbers out of my ass. I'm making things up. It's very hard to bowl a perfect game. Not many people do it. But I wanted to be among these elite few that pull it off. So, I bought my own bowling ball, a Rhino, which I immediately lost on the first day of me using it. After it was spit out by the ball return, I forgot to take it home. I didn't mean to leave it in the dust like that. I didn't plan on going out to buy milk and never returning. But I left it cold and alone, and somebody else took it. Hopefully to a, <laughs> a household that can appreciate it. So I was never able to get the rhino back, and since losing it, uh, since it shed its mortal coil, I hadn't actually gone back to the lanes since. Not because I'm necessarily, like, bedridden with guilt over the bowling ball, but just because I just hadn't had a whole lot of opportunities to get back out there, and then it just started slipping my mind, so it's actually been close to, like, five months since I bowled. And this morning, the lanes beckoned me, and I answered the call. There was a lot of rust to shake off, gotta, you know, get the cobwebs out. But overall, it wasn't terrible, so I want to show you how it went. It's been so long since I've been back in church here, so I had to get my technique back, so I started with really long, exaggerated leg kicks, like something Hua Rang would throw out in Tekken 8, and it felt okay, but I was mainly just getting nines like this. But luckily, my spare game is automatic. It's the safest bet you could ever make that I'm going to pick up a spare, clean up my little mess. It's more guaranteed than the sun rising in the morning. So I get my spares, and I'm back to throwing down the fucking lumber, and once again, just picking up nines. But surprisingly, my little southpaw backhand maneuver here, the little reach around where I give it the reverse spin, was feeling really good. Also, apologies for how zoomed in the camera is on my cheeks, it's just focused on my keister. Kind of like the old ass cam meta on Twitch. But anyway, I started to find my groove and getting the strikes back, even ran into the ball return for good measure. And just when I thought I found the sweet spot again, the clitoris betrays me and it's no longer stimulating my strikes. So unfortunately, I'm here with a split that I have to navigate my way through. But like I said, my spare game has been automatic. Now I know it's not exactly a nightmare split, we're not talking 7-10 or something, this is kind of Weenie Hut Jr. splits, but you still have to be pretty precise with the placement, and I was able to do that perfectly like a surgeon. Next frame I pick up another classic 9, but I get it once again with the little reverse spin. This used to be a problem pin for me, that 10 pin right there was always kind of a disaster since I throw righty, but using the reverse spin like that, I was actually able to cut it and get it most times, without issue. So, now I'm buckled back in, the demon is ready to rear its head, and here comes a beautiful fucking strike. The grenade goes down, soaring at like a beautiful fucking 14 miles per hour. Bingo, bango, bongo, I'm kidding, it's also a 9. Now this pin's life is flashing before its eyes. It knows it's in a terrible position right here. This is a very easy pickup, easier than picking up your mother at the local world of beers. It's in more danger than an astronaut on a Boeing Starliner, because when you're bowling righty, that pin is just so fucking free to pick up for a spare. Ideally though, you just get a strike, but if you're forced to have one pin stay up, it's best to be that one. I guess I should explain why the audio is muted here, because I know a lot of people are probably disappointed you can't hear the satisfying explosion of these pins, especially when I get some stellar pin action like this with this beautiful roll. A little Brooklyn action for you, that's what it's called when you get a strike from that direction. The reason I muted is, is because the astute observers amongst you with keen eyes may notice that there's music videos playing in the back right there. Well, they're pumping 2000s boner jams throughout the entire facility, and that would be the quickest path to a DMCA imaginable. Full disclosure, this is not the same game. I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes here. I didn't bowl that great. I, I just kept resetting games that were looking like a lost cause. The best I had was like a 200 or some shit. It wasn't very impressive, but it has been so long since I've been out here that... I shouldn't have expected much more, yet I was still kind of upset with myself because I know that I have the ability to be an easy 200 average bowler. A few months ago when I was in prime athletic condition for bowling, I was out here a fucking menace. I was absolutely killing these pins, I was murdering them. And now I'm just kind of lightly tapping them. So. Back-to-back -back strikes here, again, that's just business as usual, but today that was the best I could do. Again, this is a different game, and I really just couldn't quite find the sweet spot. Like, it looked textbook when I did get in there and tease it a couple of times with, like, my proper technique, 
but I couldn't consistently get there. There is a pin that's still spinning down there from that last strike. That shit was going like a fucking load of laundry in a washing machine. Like, I was blasting those pins. I was throwing fucking asteroids down the lane. Yet, I just could not manage to string together a lot of strikes. Because I'm always ending up with 8s and 9s, mainly 9s, but it just has been so long that I needed to hop back on the saddle again and remember how to ride. It, bowling's a lot like riding a bike, you never really forget, but you definitely do get a lot worse at it if you don't keep up the practice. So, I'm, I'm going back on my journey to bowl the perfect game to get a 300. So today I was only launching house balls, which severely nerfs any good bowler's ability. Any bowler worth their salt will tell you house balls are suboptimal. You know, you're only as good as the tools that you use, and those tools, house balls, it's like using a Fisher-Price hammer. When what you need is a real hammer. A new blue hammer. So, I didn't leave empty-handed today. I got this little treat. Take a look at this puppy. So, this is the, the hammer. And this right here is my Excalibur. When I entered into the pro shop, I heard it whispering to me like the one ring did to Gollum. And I knew this was the ball. After the employee told me that this is probably my best bet to bowl 300. So the guy who was working at the pro shop was super nice and super helpful. So I told him what the goal was. I'm sure I'm not the only goober who went in there saying, I want to bowl a perfect game, what do you recommend? But he said the new blue hammer here, my trusty steed, is probably the best bet to accomplish that. And told me that there's a bowler named AJ Rice who actually just bowled a 900 using this puppy right here. That's three perfect games in a row. And I watched the clip. Not only did he bowl three perfect games, he bowled three perfect games on two different, or on, excuse me, on three different pairs. That's extremely impressive, and if he can do three perfect games in a row using this, why can't I get one perfect game at some point in my life, right? Like, it's, it only mathematically makes sense. You know, just crunch the numbers. I'm guaranteed a perfect game at some point, it's just a matter of when, and hopefully soon. So I'm getting back out there on the lanes, I've got my new blue hammer by my side, my big iron on my hip, and I'm going to be launching fucking cannonballs down there, I'll tell you what. So, I'll keep you updated on my bowling progress the same way I did when I got really into it a few months back. But this time, I'm seeing it through. I will bowl a 300. So yeah, you can bet your sweet bippy that the perfect game is on its way. I'm going to be practicing quite a bit again. I'm going to be grinding for it. So uh, yeah, that's really about it. See so, ya. Yeah.